Welcome to the second vlog from our recent trip to LA and Vegas. Here's what we got up to. Good morning. <laughs> As huge BTS fans, the BT21 line store in Hollywood was on a list of places to go. There were some really cool displays as well as products in just about every category. If there were no limits on our luggage and our spending money, we definitely would have bought one of everything. We also had fun comparing our hand sizes with each of the seven members. Jivin's hands. <laughs> Tiny hands. <laughs> Oh, me and I are like exact match. Found uh, the Donald Ducks a bit. 
Watching Hocus Pocus at the El Capitan Theater was completely unplanned, but it turned out to be a great night. And since it was Halloween time, there were some really cool Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus displays downstairs. And we even got to meet the director himself, Kenny Ortega. No trip to LA is complete without making a stop at In-N-Out Burger. We signed up for tickets to Jimmy Kimmel Live, and we got to see NBA legend Magic Johnson. We then watched the episode in our hotel room later that night. It's a bit blurry, but we're somewhere around here. Just came back from Jimmy Kimmel, and Magic, Magic Johnson noticed me. <laughs> Why did you notice it? Because this, he like waved and pointed at me and was like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got um, ramen with chicken. Nice. And I have the teriyaki salad. <laughs> so keen for a sandwich. <laughs> Oh my god! Perfect match! Oh, oh Chris. I, I reckon Chris Hemsworth has big big hands. Yeah, look far out man. After Disneyland, Universal Studios is our second favorite theme park in LA. We're at the three blue sticks. Um, I got the roast chicken platter. Yep, and then I got the uh, bangers and mash. Nice. Designed equipment. Please never attempt anything like this at home or on your own. Now, for this stunt right here, Gary is going to attempt to burn for anywhere of up to eight to ten seconds long. Ready? Ready? Stunts are ready. Ready? And action! Lighting. Lit.
Springfield isn't anything new, but it's always fun to walk through. Favorite right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are the oldest, the biggest, and the busiest movie studio here in Hollywood. Basically, we're the best. Welcome to our front lot. Now, the front lot has. specific places. We only needed to follow the actor would be standing where the camera would be facing. The rest of it, we don't care. And if you're really observant, you might notice that the raindrops are larger than you can see in nature. If you take a picture of real rain, you're barely going to see it. Think of the football, the baseball games that happen in the rain, right? Whoa! Wait a minute, can we cut that off? That are just giant empty soundproof warehouses. This one looks like a subway. So, whoa, okay. Yep, gotta do it. Just telling you about, is that a truck? Jeez. Okay. All right. Yeah, we, we gotta ride this thing out. Again, everyone, please stay seated. We may calm. Nobody freak out. Woo! from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. Provaso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so live anymore. Somebody out there really pissed off shock. It's gonna get ugly fast. to different things like, well, like you, frankly. We're going to be taking a one family's wait for the Secret Life of Pets ride was pretty long, but the walkthrough was really cute and it kept us entertained. Ah, 
Alright, we ended up getting Panda Express because the lines are too long here. Yeah, and here's the view. The next day, we went over to the Grove, and I love checking out this huge Barnes & Noble store. And Bridges here. We wanted to check out LACMA, but didn't realize it was actually closed on Wednesdays. But it actually worked out in our favor because just across from it was the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures, which was way better suited for film buffs like us. The Cheesecake Factory. Well, what did you get, Ken? And I got a spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. <laughs> so we got the pumpkin pecan cake. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Cam's loves it. I'm trying it. <laughs> After a chill day at Santa Monica, we hurried back to downtown LA to make it to the Lakers vs Timberwolves game that we had tickets for.
Welcome to Vegas. All the gamblers. Where we at, Ken? We got a uh, shack burger and a chicken shack burger. Something like that with uh, what lemonade? It comes very What's this one called, Ken? It's called the Lent and it's a warm fudge brownie with chocolate and salty caramel sauce. Look at it. Chocolate. <laughs> and it's always is chocolate. Our trip to Vegas wouldn't be complete without going to Caesar's Palace and getting some of Mike's favorite truffle mashed potatoes at the Bacchanal Buffet. Chip ice cream, coconut macaroon, some strawberry thing, and ube. I don't know. Yeah, it's a mash. Just one last, one last time eating this divine mash, and then. Okay. Hmm. Pretty good. Round two. It's a bit more eclectic than the first one. Yeah, uh, uh, chocolate macaron, you know what that is. And uh, coconut tapioca. What do you like the best out of all the food that we've eaten so far? It's hard. It's hard to decide because everything is really good. We really did. Really? Yeah. I think I like the mesh the best. Yeah. <laughs> 
to recover from our food coma, we took a much needed walk around the forum shops and tried not to get sick on their wacky curved escalators. Vegas is the home of spectacular shows and magic, so we booked tickets to see Mike's favorite magician, Shin Lim. Watch the show. It was so, so good. good. Man. Amazing. Wanted to meet him, but like. <laughs> nah, but it was good. Colin Cloud, too. Where are we? Deep Hanoi restaurant. I have a tapsula. Even though it's like 2 30 in the afternoon, I wanted tapsula. And so go to them. After a bit of shopping at the outlets and a Filipino lunch, it was time to head back to LA for the last day of our trip, but not without a spot of light gambling. Hi. Where are you? We're at uh, IHOP. What did you get? We got pumpkin spice cake. <laughs> An NFL game was another unplanned event, and despite not knowing as much about the NFL as Mike does, the atmosphere at this Rams vs Panthers game was still amazing. And then sadly, it was time to go home. Yeah, so we're just waiting for the uh, flight and watching Ghost Files. <laughs> <laughs> the very last, the very last room of the plane. It's pretty sweet because it means that we can recline all the way back. And this, what a leg room. And they're really nice seats too. And Mike really wants to watch it. Mike really wants to watch it for some reason. Interested to see what happens. Thanks for watching! We've got another trip planned this year, so stay tuned and subscribe to find out where it is and what we get up to!